Apa khabar semua saudara-saudari sekalian yang berada di luar sana menyaksikan forum pada hari ini dan hari ini cukup istimewa. Memang hari-hari pun istimewa tapi hari ini uh, lebih istimewa kerana saya nak highlight sesuatu terlebih dahulu kejayaan untuk penyokong-penyokong MU di luar sana. 3-1 mengalahkan PSG tetapi ramai juga di sasar sus yang mengatakan bahawa ada buki yang terlibat dalam peluang itu. Jangan, sorry, sorry bukan, bukan saya yang cakap. Ini apa yang saya dengar tapi saya pasti itu satu kejayaan yang besar dan uh, memang menang secara merit lah untuk penyokong-penyokong MU. Itu itu saja saya nak sebut. Okey, kita terus ke uh, tetamu-tetamu kita pada hari ini uh, berkaitan dengan Powerman Asia Championships uh, 2019. Dua tetamu istimewa, salah seorang berjaya meraih tempat yang ketiga, seorang lagi juga antara antara atlet elit dalam masukan uh, duathlon uh, untuk lebih tepat lagi Jason Lo, atlet duathlon Malaysia. Terima kasih Jason for being okay. here. Uh, juga kepada Mariana Muhammad, atlet duathlon wanita negara yang juga meraih tempat yang ketiga. Thank you Thank so you. much uh, Mariana for being here. Okey, uh, Pertama sekali, kejuaraan pemain Asia kini dah pun lama bertapak di Malaysia. So, ramai dah tahu tentang kejuaraan ini. Uh, melibatkan atlet-atlet terbaik berkaliber di dunia. Kategori elit seperti uh, Jason, Mariana dan juga atlet luar negara. So, maybe Mariana, you can start by sharing with us your opinions on this particular 2019 edition. Well, um, it's really good that well, because previous years was only like uh, less than... 10 participants taking mm-hmm. part in this uh, event for ladies the asian uh, the pro right. Right. I'm sorry the pro uh, okay. athlete yeah but uh, this time they actually get more participants mm. so the crowd is bigger right and then uh, among i mean like the for the age groupers they are so much bigger now the, okay. you can see everyone is training out there to do this uh, this race it becomes right. one of the biggest event in uh, oh. in asia Right. But worldwide, I don't know, you know, yeah. like it's really huge. So uh, I'm quite impressed with that. Right. And then the, uh, you can see, I mean, like the week, a week before the race, you can see the, the atmosphere, mm. atmosphere towards the race is actually really huge. It's crazy. It's yeah. Really, it's crazy. Yeah. Okay, really uh, Jason, you're 27 years old. Um, unfortunately, in this particular event, you had to retire early because of injury and all that. You know, just take us through that that journey that you went through throughout the the event itself. So basically, the race uh, because I'm competing in the elite category. Okay. So and uh, for the past three years, if I were to compare uh, the past mm. three power mm. that have uh, organized earlier on, uh, this year was is uh, will be considered as one of the fierce, the most fierce uh, competition <laughs> okay. ever, where whereby the elites competition field is much bigger, mm. and uh, the racing standard is 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 improve is getting higher and higher every year and. And that day, yeah, it was uh, it was a very intense intense race, and uh, the over everyone was racing at their very best, race aggressively. Mm. So my goal that day was trying to to stay uh, the front pack as long as I could, Mm-mm. so that I can just to yeah just to be the the best, just to show the best okay. that I could. And then uh, yeah, uh, apparently uh, through through the the on the bike course, yeah. I, I can slowly feel that uh, that the intensity that I got right. gotten from the first run, yeah, the damage starts to to sh- start to show, right. show some signs of cramping and so on. So the the cramping, yeah, it, it so really gets you going further, lah. Uh, in a way, it, it gets serious and it somewhat uh, breaks the, the the cycling rhythm. Right. And towards the end, it but it didn't break your spirit though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but um, yeah, the the it just break the the rhythm and Understood. towards the end it was just so it was right uh, pretty uh, serious. Okay. Up to a point where I felt that it's it's a better option for me to just to to Retire. to stop it earlier. Yeah. You know what, Jason? Uh, menarik tentang Jason ni, uh, walaupun dia fasih bahasa Inggeris uh, sebelum ramah ini. Beliau ada mengatakan, saya dah prepare dalam bahasa Melayu. So, kalau boleh, kita nak buat dalam bahasa Melayu. <laughs> Tapi saya tanya juga dalam bahasa Inggeris. Okay, lepas ini, we do it in Malay. Okay, for you. <laughs> Kembali kepada Maria. Back to Mariana. First and foremost, tanya. Thank congratulations. You. Thank you. Uh, sebab anda ditempatkan antara enam atlet uh, terbaik dalam kategori elite and top three uh, for Asian <laughs> women. So, maybe you can share with us about that same journey that Jason shared on on his part. For you, how was it like? Because you're, I, 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 I've also heard that you're mother of two. Yes. Uh, you're in your forties, and this inspires so many women out there. Yeah. So maybe you can share about your journey. Well, I just this year I just want to set my uh, my bar higher. Thought I want to challenge myself and see where I can, where I stand among all these top athletes. So, um, so I, 
I went out there and raced without any expectations, but I just want to do my best. I race against myself. Right. But I want, I mean, try uh, really my best, you yeah. know. So the first run was actually quite tough for me because they're actually really good runner. Right. Very, very good runners. I was actually like the best left. Of the best. Yes, I was left alone at some point. I feel like, God, what am I getting myself into? So, but anyway, I just kept running, just, you know, forget Persevere. about that and yeah. just keep motivate myself and just keep running. And then uh, during the run, uh, cycling, mm -hmm. which my strength is on the bike. 60 kilometers, right? 60 K, yeah. Wow. I actually caught three, three uh, athletes there. Wow. That's what I felt. Okay, this is much better. Right. This is doable. Yes. Right? Yeah. Yes, it's doable, correct. So, yeah. uh, and then I just maintain it on the last run, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, and I I'm happy with the right. achievement, but I want to do better. Right. Congratulations, yeah. Mariana. Also, Jason. Now, kita nak uh, bincang tentang alternative uh, that anda terlibat or that you know of uh, specifically uh, the the you know the opportunities that are given for the young people out there or the youngsters out there. Anak anak muda lah di luar sana untuk uh, dapat peluang, Jason. Uh, untuk juga berkecimpung dalam dunia duathlon ini. Because in schools, in curriculum activities, we yeah. don't have this. Yeah. So how do they get involved? Um, apparently, like, like for this for this event, for instance, uh, Power Man Malaysia. So uh, we have the the organizer that have this uh, organize this kind of event every year. So this basically actually opens up the creates more opportunity for the especially for the newcomer for the the beginner whoever want to start and uh, have put their legs in the water mm. and have a try. So to have this kind of uh, annual event and for and to allow the the newcomer for them to showcase their their talent, yeah, this is definitely serve a very good uh, good platform for them to yeah for them to shine as well, yeah, and also we don't forget about the local clubs around right. in, in Malaysia. So uh, for all those clubs, they would have uh, some the local coaches. Okay. So with the proper guidance, proper support from the clubs, mm. so I believe yeah the, the youngster will get a proper development. Okay. So ada lah peluang di luar sana untuk mereka cari dan uh, sertai serta, serta buat training juga lah. Okay, uh, Mariana, uh, with regards to what Jason said, I heard about this thing called Power Kids. Yeah. Maybe you can shed some light. Yeah, oh, well, uh, it's the same event as the uh, the uh, Power Man. It's just that it, it will happen the day before. It's right. for the kids. Okay. So they have three categories. You know, it's for five, five to twelve years old. Right. You know, it's, this is great. They actually uh, get these young kids to get started. Right. Who knows when? You know, if the actually the interest stays, mm. they actually will continue when they grow older. Right. So you know, it's really great they have this. <laughs> This event they created for the yeah, young kids. Because they prepare them for very young age. Exactly. And, and, and on that note, you have two kids. Obviously, they are they're grown ups now. They're 17 years old, right? That's right. How much pressure do they feel to you know to not to say compete with your mom, but to live under the same standards that you have set for them, discipline wise, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, sporting wise, and what? I think they've seen that enough, too much, and they are actually kind of like, okay, I don't want to have. I don't anything. even want to compete. <laughs> exactly. I don't want to have anything to do with that. You know, right. I want to have a normal life. Right. So, and you support them whatever they do, yes, right? Yes, totally. So yeah. let them choose what they want to do, you know, later on in life. Yes. Right, right. So cool. Still on the same topic when it yeah. comes to awareness within, uh, you know, young people out there, even generally anyone out there who, who want to get involved, right? Uh, what, what do you think are the advantages of, you know, being involved in duathlons, specifically duathlon Power Man Malaysia, uh, in also increasing the intensity and the abilities of, of younger athletes out there, Jason? Um, Sorry, I caught you off guard there, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you rephrase your No, I again? mean, with, with duathlon, right? Yeah. You, so you, ha you have athletes who play football, play badminton, yeah. and so many other sports, right? But with duathlon, the intensity is much higher, yeah, right? Yeah, so yeah, if yeah. you were to train for, say, duathlon, but you play, generally play badminton or any other sport, how do you think that sort of gives them an advantage? Um, but basically, duathlon is an endurance sport right. and and moreover uh, power man is a slightly longer distance than mm. usual so mm. it actually acquires uh, a very, very high level of endurance mm. so with to have someone that really have a proper preparation towards the event right. it, it really requires a lot of determination or lots of hard works and so on and mm. it and at the same time they also build build themselves uh, a discipline, mm. a discipline that is required to, to have okay. to have them stay in shape yeah. Yeah, in order to compete. Yes, there's so much more I want to ask you with regards to your own prep and how long it took you to actually get ready yeah. uh, for, for the competition, Power Man specifically, but we're running out of time. So I'll just go straight to the last question. Um, 
what are your plans after this? Because Mariana, you, you, you competed, you did pretty well. Uh, and I hear yeah. that you're not happy with the results that you got because you still feel that you lost to two other people. Yeah. So, you know, what are your plans, you know? Well, upcoming? I plan to uh, do... My next race will be a, a part, duathlon in uh, Philippines. Okay. Clark. Uh, end of this month, and then uh, April, I'll be going to Powerman uh, Germany in Oslo. Okay, exciting stuff. And after that, uh, Powerman uh, Indonesia. Right, brilliant. All the yeah. best to you, Jason. Thank you. Uh, I'll be competing in the uh, Philippines. Right. There will be a trifecta. Uh, there's, there's a national qualifier mm. for the SEA Games duathlon for oh. the Filipinos. Okay. Yeah, so I'll be just be joining and see how I stack against them. Mm -hmm. And yeah. after that, it will be uh, another event by the, the organizer, which is the Power Mate Indonesia, right. which is in June as well. Right. Okay, unfortunately, we're, we're running out of time yeah. because there's so much I want to ask yeah. with <laughs> regards to what you guys do for a living because you're obviously semi pros at what you do. Uh, and also, you know, it's because you're really passionate about uh, yeah. the yeah. Power Man and also duathlon specific. But thank you so much for your time. Terima kasih, Jason. Walaupun kita tak banyak bicara dalam bahasa Melayu, saya harap anda berpuas hati dapat cakap sepatah dua kata dalam bahasa Melayu. Juga kepada Mariana. Thank you, uh, thank you so much for your time. You. Appreciate you being here. Uh, dan kita harapkan mereka semua akan terus berjaya, terus mengharumkan nama Malaysia, terus mengibarkan jalur gemilang di mana saja mereka berada, di mana-mana pentas uh, di seluruh dunia. Okay, yang pasti, jangan lupa untuk uh, saksikan uh, program Bola at Mama yang akan ke udara jam 9.30 malam ini. Uh, Hafiz Al-Hamad bersama dengan tamu-tamu istimewa membincangkan tentang uh, bola sepak tempatan khususnya Liga Malaysia, pasukan kebangsaan dan sebagainya. Uh, dan lebih banyak lagi, jangan lupa juga Nadi Arina dan memantau siaran kami 81 dan juga 82 ini. Sampai di sini saja. Uh, kita masih lagi ada banyak masa ini, saya difahamkan. Okay? So, saya nak ingatkan lagi ada beberapa program yang akan datang. Piala Sultan Azlan Shah. Uh, yang akan berlangsung sekitar 23 hingga 30 Mac nanti. Siaran secara langsung kami akan bawakan kepada anda di mana saya sendiri akan mengendalikan uh, pre-show untuk uh, Piala Sultan Azlan Shah, uh, AFC kelayakan uh, 2020 juga akan ada dan uh, saya pasti anda akan terhiburlah sepanjang bulan Mac ini. Okay? Sampai di sini saja kita jumpa lagi. Bye-bye.